What's up, everybody? It's Grim, and I'm here with Duop and the Grimettes, and we are watching WWE Fastlane 2021, and we just seen the bro. Just flop Mustafali, floppily Mustafali fall on his face only onto the canvas as he got flattened by the original bro, Matt Riddle, for the United States title in a pre-show match, which was a rematch of Raw, where what happened on Raw? Uh, Matt Riddle already beat him. Why the hell does he have to fight him again for the belt this time? Too stupid. Because they had nothing else to appreciate. No, no, no. The whole point of the match was bro winning, Mustafa getting <laughs> triggered, triggered, and turning on his own retribution crew. He kicked my Yim out of the ring. I don't know what her retribution means. No, she mean. left. Because he told her, get lost, I don't need you. Right, and then the other guys did the... Did, did, yeah, and then they choke slammed the shit out of him. The, the other dude slapped nuts and chuckle fuck, whatever the oh. names are. <laughs> and now we're getting ready for the main show. What in the holy fuck just happened to this women's tag team championship match? Bianca Belair just caused Sasha Banks to get pinned by uh, Shayna Balls Baszler. She rolled her up like a fucking fruit roll-up style roll from behind because they had a miscommunication. Banks had the match one, but you never know. Nia Jax is going to fucking come weaseling her ass right into the scene. Bianca Belair was just trying to keep her off of Banks. And what does Nia Jax do? She's like, bam, bitch. And she slams Bianca on top of Banks while Banks had the bank statement locked on Balls Baszler. I don't know how the fuck I just did that, but I did it, and I done did it. And that's my reaction to the match, that people are pissed on people. It would have been cool to see the two women who are going to face each other at WrestleMania for the SmackDown Women Championship have to face each other while being the tag team champs, but they couldn't get along because they're going to fucking fight at WrestleMania. Pump the brakes. Woo, woo, woo. When has WWE ever made sense? They'll probably win the tag titles tomorrow on Raw. When they realize, oh no, everybody wanted them to win last night. Duhop knows the fucking score. That motherfucker knows what's up. <laughs> Shane McMahon is wearing a stupid Express t-shirt. <laughs> I gotta get the Grimettes back to their mother, and I'm heading home to chill with Tina. But we just witnessed Apollo Crews lose. How does the Apollo Crews lose, dude? People are pissed. I did, well, I mean... What the f I don't even know what happened, and they won't even show a replay because I'm pretty sure they botched the whole ending of the match and they screwed everything up. They won't even show us a replay. Big E apparently had Apollo's shoulders down, but his shoulders weren't down. The referee counted to three. I don't think the match was supposed to end that way. I think they really screwed up. Apollo Crews seemed like he didn't even think the match was over, and he kept fighting, and that's why he kicked the crap out of Big E, and then they just made it look like a post-match beatdown. But I think they messed up. Didn't they mess up that match, Amy? Okay, so I'm home and I just watched Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura and I could swear that that motherfucking my pillow prick is in the goddamn Thunderdome. Why is that prick peddling his fucking hard pillows and his bullshit politics in my fucking Thunderdome while I'm trying to watch a motherfucking match with his goddamn cringe carnival mustache? Seth Rollins just tore the fucking house down. I'm sorry. He burnt it down against shit stained Nakamura. They kicked the ever living piss shit fuck out of each other. But I guess this was like a win for. Rollins on his road to WrestleMania where he's most likely going to face Cesaro and Shinsuke, you know, his former tag partner or whatever. These motherfuckers kicked the shit out of each other strong style. You should see the goddamn boot print on Seth Rollins' fucking face. Holy sheep shit on a shingle. What a banger that these two put on. But again, I'm trolling Twitter and I'm trying to find out information on that Big E and Apollo Crews finish and like nobody in the timeline is tweeting about Fastlane. And I tweeted again, see, nobody cares. The, nobody fucking cares me. I don't know why they're doing a goddamn paper screw three weeks before fucking WrestleMania. Which I'm going to, by the way, if you did not see my announcement, we got tickets. Me and Quarantina are going. It's going to be a banger. It's her first WWE event. And holy hell is she hype. We are flying our asses down to Florida, and we're going to fuck around and find out how good WrestleMania is going to be if they're going to stuff people close to each other. We need to avoid everybody, because if somebody gives me the Rona, I'm going to put them through a fucking table. Coming up next, I don't know what that... Look, is that the my pillow prick right there? He's in the fucking Thunderdome. Oh, Drew Mac and Cheese is going to fight Shitmas right now. Let's do this. Seamus and Drew McIntyre are up in the fucking TV screens of the fucking Thunderdome. Put them through the fucking TV screen, goddammit. I want to see a fucker fly through a goddamn television screen. Put him through the My Pillow prick. He's right there. 
<laughs> then he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Put him through. Oh, he flipped the fucker on the floor. Ow! Yes! Drew McIntyre just put Sheamus through the fucking TVs. <laughs> replay, replay, replay. I want to see a replay. Come on. Show it again, fuckers. <laughs> he just put them through the goddamn... I knew it was going to happen. Just like... Here it is. Here it is. Just like at Grimmamania. Ace Marksman, I'm going to put you through a fucking wall. <laughs> this, this match is awesome. No holds barred. Drew Mac and Cheese versus Sheamus. Babe, how cool was that? See the flash and the smoke? <laughs> why is there smoke? Yeah, why is there smoke? <laughs> Holy sheep shit on a shingle! Those two fucking ducks slapped the ever living piss shit out of each other. <sighs> oh, I'm trying to fucking calm down from the brutality that I just witnessed. That is Sheamus versus Drew McIntyre. Was that fucking necessary, Drew, three weeks before WrestleMania? Before you have to face Bobby Trashley in the fucking championship match? Did you have to flex that hard? Holy fuck, he got drilled white noise through a table off the goddamn top of the ring barricade. And then he finally finished the ginger prick off with the Claymore kick in the end. That match was a fucking banger, babe. I, 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 everybody knows that you weren't with me over at Hops, And it's because she's been suffering with lady problems today. Are you okay? I think my crampies are She's a trooper. She's hanging in there. She's trying to ward off the period that is cramping up. <laughs> Hang in there. Hang in there, baby. So, yeah, that was a banger. I, but I'm looking forward to Alexa Bliss and the Fiend. When the fuck is that going to happen? Drew, oh, Drew McIntyre had badass face paint, by the way. That's it. She's dead. I have to record this. I have to record this. It's the crispy critter fiend. He's back. <laughs> He's crispy and crusty. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm screaming. Look at look at look. Alexa Bliss is just riding his cock to victory here. Look at her. Look at just riding Randy's dick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, so Alexa Bliss and Randy Orton are supposed to have this motherfucking match. Alexa thought you were talking. Shut the fuck up, Alexa. My Alexa's right there talking. I can't with this crispy critter. Alexa, shut the fucking music off, you dumb bitch! <laughs> Holy shit! I'm trying to... I can't. Maybe I can't. Alright, so Alexa Bliss tried to kill Randy Orton a few times. She shot fire in the ring. Then she dropped a lighting rig on him, almost. Then she shot him with a fireball out of her hand. And then a crispy hand comes crawling up through the goddamn... Fucking canvas! <laughs> Alright, that was the worst thing that they've done with The Fiend. That was fucking... The Cringe Carnival is in town. That was fucking hilarious. Bad. Hilariously bad. <laughs> and then... The Fiend comes into the ring, crawls up through the ring after a big fireball, knocks Randy Orton over, he hits him with the Sister Abigail finish, and then Alexa rides Randy's cock to victory. One, two, three. She was just sitting right on, right on his fucking pelvis. That was really. Uh, that was really awkward. There's, yeah. there's no way Randy Orton at, didn't at least have half a chub. <laughs> I'm so bad. I, I'm still recovering from how fucking funny that was. The motherfucker looks like Muckman, fried fiend. It's fucking ridiculous. He looks like goddamn Chucky from that fucking movie. And that was like. I mean, come on, we all thought it. You know, Alexa Bliss is riding that dick, you know? But, like, The Fiend is watching. Is, is he getting cucked? Is this, like, some sort of weird threesome? I'm going way too fucking far with this. Uh, people say, Grim, you're hating on it. I'm not hating on it. It's actually so fucking funny. It's got me so intrigued. I'm enjoying the shit out of it. It made me happy. That's enjoyment. Thank you, World Wrestling Entertainment, for the fucking entertainment. <laughs>
laughs> oh my god! I can't stop laughing. What a goddamn clusterfuck, babe! Edge, the enforcer, got his ass involved because the referee got knocked out by Daniel Bryan's big fucking flying knee to his fucking face. He got creamed. So now Edge takes over authority. What's with the paws? I think you mean claws. What's with the claws? Remember that thing I told you about that happens sometimes? Oh, no. The cramp raptor? Oh, my God. So, anyway. So, now Jey Uso jumps into the ring and super kicks the shit out of Edge and, and Daniel Bryan. And then Daniel Bryan goes to swing a chair at Roman Reigns and winds up hitting Edge. And then Edge is all kinds of pissed off. Edge wails Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan winds up Losing the match to Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns retains, but guess what the fuck's gonna happen? Guess how it's gonna go down? Now they're gonna make it a triple threat at WrestleMania. It's gonna be Daniel Bryan, Edge, and Roman Reigns. All three are gonna face off for the WWE Universal Championship. Edge is going to pin Daniel Bryan and become Universal Champ. Roman Reigns never got pinned. And then Edge and Roman Reigns are gonna face each other, probably at, like, SummerSlam. And then... Edge will lose the title back to Roman Reigns. Tell me I'm wrong. Convince me otherwise. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching the reactions. I appreciate you. Please like the video. Please leave your comments if you can. If you can't, it's YouTube's fault, not mine. I would never demonetize them. And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah. Baby. Oh no, the cramps have taken over. The cramps have taken over. Are you okay down there? What the fuck?